listening to the High Noon Podcast. Your host, Mason Smith. All right, yeehaw, motherfucker. Welcome to another episode of High Noon. Got, got my trusted sidekick, my co host. Motherfucking Nicholas the Pack. Hell yeah, I'm first time guest Brian Holtzman. Yeah, yeah. hi. I want to apologize for coughing right in the introduction. <laughs> oh, that's a that's a major problem. I'm sorry. I I, I guess it was to drive over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no need to be sorry. Oh my God, wow. what a time to yeah. I'm gonna be burping throat. like crazy here in a second. So, yeah, so. coughing's no big deal. I just gotta say, you have great hair. Well, oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. These are, this is uh, $75,000 and uh, 1,400 hair plugs. Are you serious? But oh, I wow. feel comfortable now. I can shower. I can swim. I'm more comfortable around women. Yeah. And uh, I can do a lot of things I wasn't able to do. Yeah. I mean, it looks gr- I would have never guessed that. I thought it was just real. Oh, no. I'm still making payments. Oh. <laughs> Oh yeah. That's yeah. that's your version of student loans. <laughs> <laughs> that's bullshit, Nick. That's bullshit. <laughs> no, this is my natural hair. Oh, uh, well, you oh fucking idiot. I thought you were being serious. <laughs> Oh. All right, so now it is it is cooler now that it is real. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> fucking moron, dude. It is real. Nah, Palestine. Jesus. All right. Hey, what's your what do, you, what do you have to say about that? Ten seconds. Uh, Ten seconds. Yeah. What are your views? I mean, I Str- still have strong opinions only. Still haven't looked into it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? No, uh, let's not go there. Uh, <laughs> let's not just demonetize I, the I episode. I don't know what any of it is. I I think I like I like the Jews. <laughs> Good thing. <laughs> So, all right, we'll move all right, on. All right, we'll move on. Brian, thank you for coming. Yeah, thank absolutely. You for coming. Thanks, Thanks for me. taking the time. Oh, this reminds me of the set of the uh, Chainsaw, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, I'll yeah. Do it when that, that scene when they all got together to do that podcast and then got slaughtered. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I tried uh, I tried to watch the, the first one that, that was the first new one with Jessica Biel the other night. And I had to, I was like, it was a little scary. I had to turn it off. How much ketamine were you on? <laughs> oh, it was coming down. I was coming down, oh, yeah. so it was just too much. Likes- you ever done ketamine? No, I haven't. Oh, it's fun. Would you ever want to? Jeez, I don't think I would want to. No. Oh, okay, because now you can do it in a <coughs> uh, in a doctor's setting, and then and they, yeah, it's real like medical now. I was doing it way before it was for therapy. Right. But <laughs> I don't think he cares. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he gives a shit about last drug night, use. <laughs> last night I saw uh, Flowers of the Killer Moon. Oh, is it good? I enjoyed it. Did you I, sit through the whole thing? I went to the 7 p.m. one, so it was over about 10.30. Oh, wow. Yeah. And, I cannot wait to see it. And uh, I read the book, so that's why I was uh, interested in seeing the film. How did it do? How did it compare? The book is more detailed. It talked more about the Texas uh, sheriff, the Texas uh, ranger, who was a uh, essential character in solving the murders. Oh. So the, the book... Uh, and then I heard somebody said that the, the the movie has more. You know, pe- pe- everybody's got an opinion. You know, yeah. you know, everybody's a retard. Everybody's a, <laughs> everybody's on the spectrum. Everybody's an idiot. <laughs> you know, you best not take any advice from anybody. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just do your own thing. How could the book have less detail than the movie? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that's what the person told me. I yeah, think it was right. my sister. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well. So uh, you're a big reader? Yeah, I like to read. Uh, a good book is a great book, I, and uh, I like to do that. Yeah, yeah I think I want to do audio books. Well, I that's read, the I... debate. Is that really reading? No. It's no. listening, for sure. So, okay, yeah, it's, it's, it's not the same, right? Yeah, but I don't like to read. Well, you haven't found a good book. You will like to read. You think find so? a good book, you will read. <laughs> he likes it. Yeah. Yeah. See, Mason, this is about all about yeah, the change we were man. talking about earlier. Oh, yeah. the producers mic'd up too. Huh? Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> Hello, everybody. Holy shit! Yeah, I didn't that's, know that. That's, yeah, Nick. Because he, we, he, he reads. He, he reads. Reader, he chimes in to help me make yeah. fun of Mason. Good. Yeah. Yeah. I like to. I like the physical book. I don't like the mm-hmm. the Kindles. Mm. The Kindles don't have photographs. I went to talk to my sister about a book that we were reading, and uh, and I wanted to talk about the photographs, and the Kindle doesn't have photographs. Oh, like mm. if the book has a like actual just illustration in it. Now I would like a book with pictures. Well, some books have the you know that center portion uh, 
Well, yeah. if you don't like out. to read. That's the type Mason likes. <laughs> yeah. I would, just, I, just, yeah. I would just skip to where the pictures are. Yeah. And I don't like children's books. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like children. Yeah. I, uh, I, uh, how hard is it to write a children's book? Yeah. Just go to any park and talk to the children. They don't know shit. <laughs> they don't know shit about nothing. They're yeah. stupid asses. All they want to do is slide down the slide and, 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 and fall on their ass and piss in their pants. How hard it is to write a children's book, you know? The, yeah. du- uh, the pigeon walked through the... Hello, pigeon. You know, f- <laughs> they, you know, you see them on the talk shows bragging about their children's book. You yeah. Know? So, uh, award-winning children's novel. <laughs> Or yeah. children's book writer. I think, uh, you know, I think uh, Harlan Williams writes children's books. Oh, they're all getting on the bandwagon. Yeah. You know? <laughs> How hard like, is it to talk to a, 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 a person of that age who doesn't know shit? They don't even, they, they know when they're shitting their diaper. It's like the pants. ultimate joke on the parents because the parents are the ones that have to actually like read it to the child. So yeah. The parents yeah. are just like, oh, what am I reading? Yeah, you know, I uh, I think I skipped the, uh, the whole children's book uh phase of my life because my dad was letting me watch tombstone when i was like six wow long guns yeah <laughs> young guns Young guns. long yeah. gun i just watched young guns too the other night doesn't hold up what's a scatter gun does that make people run That's away a tommy gun right no the old-fashioned scatter gun didn't they call That's, it a scatter gun the, the chain one were they no i think like it's, a buckshot or something I scatter thought gun. you guys would know what the, uh, i think yeah, a scatter gun's a tommy gun but it is yeah people scatter <laughs> yeah, I think any gun's a scatter gun in that case. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's a shotgun. Yeah, yeah okay, so like a scatter like, yeah, shot. Scatter yeah. gun's a shotgun. So yeah. it's right, right. Bird, yeah, yeah bird shot. There, yeah. Oh, bird just shot. rewatched Newton Boys the other night. Mm-hmm. They 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 shoot off shotguns all the time in that one. You Newton ever seen boys. Newton Boys? No. It's got Matthew McConaughey and uh, Ethan Hawke. So they're robbing banks in the twenties. It was a true story. That's when uh, 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 the flower, uh, flowers of the killer moon was in the. Early twenties, twenty one. Okay. Um, uh, yeah. And was that a that was Scorsese, right? Right. And, Sweet. Uh, Leonardo uh, DiCaprio, and um, what's the other clowns? De Niro's in it, right? De, De Niro, yeah. Old Bobby. And a bunch of Indians. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I can't wait to see. You saw it in the theater. Yes. Nice. How are you liking living here? I like it. The yeah. best part of the, my day is at the club. Yeah. Mm. Of course. Yeah. Same. Are you there every day? Uh, Wednesday through uh, uh, Saturday. Sweet. I'm off uh, Sunday, Mondays, and Tuesdays. What do you do on your days off? Well, not much. I, I walk a lot. Mm, me too. I'm over in Oak Hill, right near that big construction area. Okay. I make videos. I, I swim. I bought a snorkel. So you can keep your head in the water and just swim. Yeah. Right? yeah. Instead of, you know, reaching for air. Every, you, know, you got a fun. pool? Oh, two pools. Yeah. Oh, cool. It's, it's, it's a new development and it's uh, pretty nice. I moved out of the Indian family's house. Yeah. Oh. How long did you do that for? The Indian family? Yeah, how long were you? Last two years. When I was here two years ago, I lived with them for about seven months. Oh, okay. And this time, uh, about five months. Was it all Indian? No, dot on the forehead <laughs> Indians. <laughs> Taj Mahal Indians. Gotcha. 7-Eleven Indians. Oh. Wow, you guys are very similar. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Not the casino Indians. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Not the killer the killer moon Indians. Did they uh did you have like a were you in like a guest <laughs> house or? No, I was uh seven uh, two years ago I was upstairs and there's a, a bedroom and the bath private bathroom and then when I came back I was in the computer room. Okay. Did they? <laughs> well, isn't that where they're working? They're on the phone. They're doing calls Not while in I there, was in right? There. No. Oh, okay. They were they were uh, using another room. Okay. How did uh did they understand like what you do? Like did they get it? Like, yes. Oh, they knew. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes they would tell me to sit down and perform. Really? Yeah. And would you do it? <laughs> a few. Yeah. Few, a little few bit. Jokes, You're like yeah. five minutes. Yeah, you know, uh, I had to watch what I said because yeah. there was kids there. You yeah. know? Oh, okay. You had to work clean. I couldn't. Uh, <laughs> couldn't do your Southeast Asian bit I couldn't, material. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, some of the things. By the way, I love your uh, your Matthew Perry material you got going on. I've only got about a week left on that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but it's great. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I, yeah. Think, I think it's kind of funny. Myself. It's very funny. Yeah. <laughs> 
They put the guy on a pedestal like he was Marlon Brando. Yeah. Or, or Lawrence Olivier. He was a bum. He was a drunk. He was in a stupid, stuck-up, racist sitcom. And I guess I'm just like tell him. I guess I'm just upset because I know I wouldn't have been part of that group. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, they wouldn't let you be hey, their friend. Yeah. Hey, Phoebe, come over here and and, and, and suck my balls, Phoebe. <laughs> Can you do that? Hey, Joey. Yeah. You know, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't you, know yeah. who your audience is on this <laughs> podcast. Know, anybody <laughs> wanted to? Be, yeah. Honest. For real, you can say anything. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah you hey, Joey, it. spread your ass. I want to kick it in. <laughs> Hey Rachel, come over here. <laughs> Bring that skinny neck. See, he he loves Rachel. Oh, yeah. oh Rachel, He's Rachel a, is uh, Jennifer Aniston, right? Yeah, yeah she's she just keeps getting hotter. It's crazy. Really? Yeah. She's if beautiful. you look at it just right, though, she looks like a long faced horse. <laughs> Right, right. Just a little and bit. she, I mean, she I also. Mean, for Mason, Phoebe's the only thing that's the, missing is a penis, and he'd be all. Yeah, in. Dude. Phoebe's got the whole, more of the horse. No, right, Phoebe. Phoebe. Phoebe's yeah. the tall, lanky What's one. What's it, Rachel? Yeah. Phoebe, Monica, Joey, Monica, Chandler, Chandler, Chandler of course, Matthew Perry, yeah. Chandler, who can't swim. Do you know what Chandler's Ross. was? You know what Chandler's? Uh, uh, Chandler was Ross. No, 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 no. What I was, was just Chandler's saying Ross. Chandler, Chandler was Matthew, Matthew Perry. Perry. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know what Matthew Perry's last words were? <laughs> Horrible swimmer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Terrible. Do you guys think he did it on purpose? It was a hot tub, right? Yeah, that's nuts to drink. Yeah, so it must. Have, I bet he did it on purpose. He think was probably he, like drugged out. I mean, he had a yeah. terrible drug problem. He didn't so. have any friends there with him that day. Yeah, <laughs> no, right. they weren't there for him. <laughs> yeah, you, you, they say uh, if you've got uh, if you've got uh, a serious addiction problem, there's there's only a few ways you can go. Yeah, you're gonna go to jail. You're gonna die, or you're gonna get sober. Hmm. And, that one's and the sometimes one. people can't get sober, and they uh, unfortunately will uh, or institutionalized, mm. and then uh, so, and then I we'll never know what happened. Just like the comic, what's his name? Uh, uh, you know the, the one, one that, recently in, in Florida in the hotel. Oh, Bob Saget. Bob Saget. Oh, yeah. You know, the family. Yeah. Right. The family just made it worse by saying, everybody, you're not allowed to talk about it. Gag mm. order. Gag order. Mm. Oh, just make it that much more, you know. Yeah, yeah more ominous. Everybody's or, afraid to tell yeah. everybody how they died. Maybe he was in a room with about 20 midgets. I don't know. Ha having some kind of sex party. <laughs> yeah. who knows? You know, who knows? I, think that I mean, it just talk. makes it crazier, you know. Yeah. Right. It's not ominous. What's the word? Ominous. 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 Nefarious. Ominous. Yeah, ominous. Um, ominous yeah. Uh, nefarious. Uh, convoluted. Uh, I mean, know. don't don't make up words. No, that, that's a word. That's <laughs> that's a. Oh, I don't want to hit anything. <laughs> no, you, make, you make sure the wires are right. You know, the worst thing is, you know, after you do the podcast, there's no sound. Oh, you sure, no. You sure all the wires are hooked up correct? You know? Oh, my God. No red sense. is positive and uh, green is negative. Uh, black yeah. is negative and uh, red is positive. Rylan, are we good? We're good. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all these wires yeah. all over the place. This, is a, this is a big production we got yeah. going on. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, I got a roommate sleeping. <laughs> He doesn't give a shit. Oh, he's sleeping? He's sleeping. He does. sleeping or passed out. <laughs> How many know. gentlemen live here? Just me and him. I see. Yeah, he's a jujitsu guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. I wish I, 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 I would have... It'd be not. It's fun to be able to know that you're not afraid of anyone. Yeah. Except, uh, I guess, uh, uh, a firearm. Yeah, right, right. But See, if there's no firearm involved, you can pretty well take care of business. Yeah. yeah. You know, my thing is, like, I'm not afraid to get into a fight, but I just don't know how to fight. So I think I'll just get my ass kicked. You shouldn't fight then. Yeah. Yeah, but... yeah all the other stories you're talking about times you got in a fight, you got your ass kicked. Yeah, every, yeah, every fight I've been in, I've lost. <laughs> you got to be, well, you still have a nice uh, grill. So you did... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was all, it was all nose and eyes. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> going? I got one time uh, a guy came up and uh, he, he stood against the door of the truck I was in 
and just started punching me through the window. And I just remember I was getting blood on my pants, and I remember I had just bought the pants. I was upset about the blood more than the than the fist to the nose. Was this was in Austin. This was in Arkansas. Is that where you're from? Yo, I'm from Boston. No, yes, he is from Arkansas. He lived in Boston. <laughs> I lived in Boston for eight years, but How's I'm from Arkansas. Arkansas? Uh, it, not as hot as here, so it's, I like it. Uh, yeah. it's Arkansas is beautiful where I grew up. But if you go south from where I grew up, it becomes real flat and not too pretty, kind of like here. Do you like Austin as a city? Not the, the, Forget about the club and comedy. Do you like Austin? Oh, yeah. You do? I think Austin, I, I, it's, 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 you feel safe when you're out at night. You think so? Oh, yeah. No doubt about it. Not in downtown. Oh, yes. Even in downtown. Okay. I, I, if you feel safer than Los Angeles or New York mm. City. I've never been to L.A. I've never been to New And York. it's clean. You know, and uh, everybody's friendly is all heck. And That's that, true. I'm not kidding. Yeah, uh, the friendliness is for sure. The friendliness true. is real, and yeah. it's everywhere you go, whether it's an auto parts store, or, you know, just anybody. They'll pull up to you at traffic uh, lights and compliment you on your vehicle. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I have a 91 Toyota pickup. It's oh, you're, very what clean. Is yours? I got a 99 Toyota. Pickup. Oh, 99. The white one out there? Yeah, with a check engine light on. <laughs> we'll yeah. go off. The, oh, <laughs> the, the one with the flat tire? I hope not. <laughs> not uh, mine. I drove mine here. It doesn't have a flat. <laughs> I, I, it, I, might, I, it might now. Uh, but. No, no, I'm only joking. <laughs> uh, um, by the way, where are you from? You, Long Island. Okay. All Long right, Island that's originally. It. Yeah. That's All it. Right. Okay. I, I, so I am obsessed with uh, New England and the Northeast. I love Boston, I love New York. Uh, I, and when I moved there, I felt like I was in a movie just because I love the accents. Right. Everywhere I went, I was like, oh, my God. Oh my it's like God. being in a movie. I'm so in the cool. pictures. Yeah. Forget about it. Forget, yeah. about, it. <laughs> Forget about it. I'm walking here. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Uh, do you ever go back? Yeah, I go back for family functions from time to time. I was just back in New York City. Uh, I did three shows at the Stand. Oh, cool! Uh, stand, uh, New York City. How's New York like your style out there? <laughs> do you really do they? A lot of they, 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 they. You'd be surprised. New York is woke. Yeah. Yeah. To a certain yeah. extent. I heard the yeah. sellers surprised the heck out of me. Yeah. These people, I don't know. They, you know, they just get. It's like they get indoc in, 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 uh, indoctrinated. Indoctrinated. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm with you. That's a tough one. <laughs> You know, they, you know, but they get it when they get it, and they realize, you know, it's uh, it's it's that's what's great about the mothership, uh, comedy mothership. All the phones are locked up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It makes for such a good show. Otherwise, I talk to Paulie Shore. You know, he goes on the road. He's a celebrity, of course, and uh, he has to watch what he says. Mm. Yeah. He doesn't want to get canceled, right? So, are, are, who wants to get canceled yeah, when no. you when you you know you you don't want your whole career? So it's great that the phones are, are locked up because it's just not like it used to be in 1984 right. or before that. Right. Mm. You would you would think that uh, any like a club would go ahead and do this the yonder bag. Well, they're yonder. cheap. They don't want to spend the money. Mm. You yeah, know, and, it's, you, and it's not cheap. It's it, you have to uh, you can just do the bags and your own employees can do it like at the mothership yeah, they, they hold on to their bags we just lock them up so you can't access yeah. them. and you know we found out uh at vulcan because uh a bunch of fucking dumbass uh frat kids kept throwing drinks in the in the thing yeah. and they got all gross and moldy we took them and we just ran them through the washing machine you just can't dry them but they're fine you can wash them yeah mm. i know the comedy seller does what's it they just do like envelopes they like literally have like USPS envelopes or something that they and then, but they just trust that you won't at the comedy cellar I thought down when I went down probably like three months ago or so that's what they were which doing. room did you go to the downstairs one on the what? one that holds 250 no definitely like what I mean is it 50 or I've so I've never been there it's I the don't sm know. really small I don't know the one with the what... lamps hanging they got Thanks four so. they got the original then they got one that's a little bit bigger than the original. Looks like the original. How big is the original? How many does that fit? I don't know. I don't, it might. I think the one. big one is that Village Underground, right? Isn't that what it used to be called that? And now it's just a part of the cellar. Because that's where, like, Bobby Kelly's got his like he records his podcast like above that. This one was. I'm like, not sure. I've never. I Bill, forget. you can push him off. Bill. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sickle. When did you when when did you start stand up? Nineteen eighty eight. Really? Damn. Hell, where at? San Francisco. Okay. And I was working for the airline up there, United Airlines. Okay. Because you were in the Air Force. And I was in the Air Force for four and a half years, and that's where I got the bug. And then, uh, and I stayed in. Uh, and then I transferred with the airline to L.A. And I went to the comedy store. Yeah. I figured let's get this over with. We'll go to the comedy store. They'll say, hey, you know, get you know, you need to, you need to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I was, uh, you know, so Anticipating. that didn't yeah. happen. So I, my whole life has been ruined. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's funny. Uh, I actually just rewatched. Uh, I love that comedy store documentary that Mike right. Binder did. And you've got like a whole 20 minute, 30 minute chunk. It's about eight minutes. It, I, it's, <laughs> it, seems, yeah, he, he it seems pretty he long. He just watches it on repeat. Yeah, yeah. Segment. It's like a Brian Holtzman commercial at the end. Yeah. Episode number four. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it yeah. is. It's very cool. Yeah. But um, so you so you got there in, uh, in, in, you got to the store in 88? 89. And did she, did Mitzi immediately? It took me five you, years to okay. get it to be a paid regular. Okay. She kept telling me to go, you know, you clean it up or come back. One time I just, the place was going nuts and I just said, how is that? How is that? What do you want me to do? What kind of laugh? Is there a certain laugh to that you are looking for? I mean, I, I can't do it. They're laughing. I don't know what else yeah. you want me to do. <laughs> that, that's the goal. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> so finally I got in there and I, uh, Joe Rogan and I got passed around the same time. Oh, okay, cool. 1994. Yeah. And uh, had you always, have you always been, uh, you always went up late, late night? Yeah. Okay. Is it, was it just too much if you went up early? Or like, well, they don't. They want to sell drinks. They don't <laughs> want people getting upset and pissed off. You yeah. know how sensitive audience members yeah. are. Yeah. They'll get up and, you, and the girl, the girl will say some nonsense, and then the, the the boyfriend or the husband will stick up for the stupid girl. <laughs> before you know, it's a, it's a chorus of fuck you. So yeah. You know? Oh, fuck yourself. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> stupid bitch. <laughs> I mean, yeah, because I mean, I've, been, I've you know, they I've, go to I've, shitty I've, movies. They got <laughs> shitty jobs. They got shitty fucking lives, and yeah. they don't want to take it out on the fucking. Uh, comic you know yeah so what i'm not you fuck you you know yeah. just fuck yourself yeah <laughs> it's hard enough doing this shit i don't need your bullshit yeah that's right true. That's, i feel that way sometimes. i mean i've seen i've seen a couple just just uh meeting you this year and then seeing you perform a bunch at the club like i've seen a few people like walk out and crying oh. and stuff, oh yeah we had some cries in, yeah, the, in yeah. the lobby <laughs> but I, cries no that, why would they cry I don't know this one. This one lady was a trooper about it though. This one lady was a trooper. Like she came out and she was crying, and I was like, I was standing on the stairs, and she, was, I was like, Are you okay? She's like, Yeah. She's like, I just don't agree with what he's saying, and I'm just gonna wait for the next comic. And I was like, Oh, oh okay. Well, just go right over there. And yeah. Wait. And like, I'll let you know when he's Dude, off stage. I <laughs> is the last comic, you stupid bitch. <laughs> I, I hope one day I can make someone cry with a joke. Oh, no, that's not something to hope for. That's him, great. I mean, that's really amazing. <laughs> Because you're you're hilarious. It's like I cry when I see you, They're but it's from it laughter. Serious. They're taking it um, serious. One That's time, right. uh, I the first time I saw you live was at a Creek in the Cave. You went up on just some random night, and uh, I was sitting next to uh, Justin Eschenbacher, mm -hmm. who has a horrible laugh, and and he laughed at one of your jokes, and you stopped your set and went, "Hey, nice laugh, asshole." <laughs> <laughs> Lost. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It was so good. Yeah, he has a. He's, he's a, got a horrible laugh. I love him to death. Oh uh, yeah, I love him too. But he laughs like a retard. He laughs like a horse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> have I met him? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. If you have. I don't know. He's you nice might. Yeah, very nice. I'll guy. introduce you next time we're in the same vicinity. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Um, oh. So, do, would you prefer? Do you prefer performing in uh, L.A. or New York? I I I I like performing everywhere. Any, anywhere, yeah. I really haven't. Uh, I don't have a lot of road work experience. The comedy store spoiled me as heck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now I'm out in Austin, and I'm giving them the same attitude or the same uh, routine as I did in LA. So that was fun to see if it would translate to the to the real 
Midwest or the country, you know, mm-hmm. different parts of the country. But anywhere I perform is great for me mm-hmm. because it's just another skank fest was great. Yeah. Yeah, I want to go next year for sure. And uh but uh I'm just not sure I can put asses in the seats. You got to put asses in the seats. True. Yeah. If you can't put asses in the seats, they don't they, you know, you you, you, you they don't want to bother with you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And nobody wants me to open up for them. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. Let's pick Holtzman open up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know. And uh, that seems to be the case, <coughs> yeah. my, my whole career. So I gotta, I gotta, I gotta kind of. I'm like kind of a lone wolf. I have to do it on my own. But I'm just not confident if I could put asses in the seats right. yet. Right. You, that's you, what it's all about. Mm-hmm. They just want to fucking sell tickets. Right. Yeah. That's why. They, that's why you see these uh, these TikTok you know, people going around that can right. sell tickets. Yeah. You, if you got a social media presence with. Uh, millions of followers uh, and does someone run yours for you have you thought about getting someone to try to like run your uh instagram or anything or your youtube i have page? a friend who uh who puts out the clips yeah i seen your uh we got a couple stickers around the vulcan yeah. you're on the uh the front door at vulcan yeah yeah that's where i used to perform a lot oh can i have that one i don't have that i one. brought some more with me amazing. okay i'm gonna put you on my cooler okay all asshole. right yeah Fine. that's that's a <laughs> That's hey, a- <laughs> you'll sell tickets after you're on my cooler. Yeah. <laughs> hey, he takes that cooler everywhere. He's always drinking. <laughs> my yeah. mom saw you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> my mom saw you again probably like six months ago at the mothership with some comedy friends who like love Rogan and Kill Tony and all that. And she thought you were hilarious. She like really liked you a lot. Where was she on the balcony? I don't know. I don't know. I, I pro- Maybe. No, they absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say your mom. I don't know. Well, there's these two people. The, these Is that ca- your stepmom or your real my mom? My real mom. Biological mom? Biological. Ain't that a, ain't that a pretty cavalier, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> stepmom, stepson, stepdaughter. Just tell them, just say daughter. Just say mom. Yeah, you yeah. have to put step in front of it. Let's just make it more uncomfortable. Yeah. Let's just make everything just so fucking uncomfortable. I never, I just call, I call my all of my moms and dads, dad and mom. Oh, you have some... Uh, I have, my parents were divorced since... Oh, we're both from remember. broken homes. Really? Has yeah, that yeah, affected you negatively in any way? <laughs> I just always... I lived out of a backpack. I just that always had two families. How how old were you when the, when, when the split... Like 18 months old. Oh, that must have been horrible on you. I don't know. As long as, long as I can remember, I just had my dad and stepmom and my mom and stepdad. Psychologically, you probably... Has, probably tore up. How about so. you, Mason? Has that I, it affected pro- you? Oh, probably. You? I'm fucked, I think. How old were you? I was. I remember it. I was like five or six. Oh, yeah, so it worse. fucked you. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. Oh, it fucked you up. Yeah, and then my mom's been married three... Sh- J- shout out Janice. Janice. Uh, Marriage number three. <laughs> wow. <laughs> she loves the podcast, by the way, so... she. What's her name? Uh, Janice. Janice likes to dance, doesn't she? Yeah. <laughs> and, and who Janice she... exclaimer. Uh, no, who no, was her no, second? No. Who was her second husband? Her second husband was a fucking idiot named Johnny. And uh, was, was he a roofer? Uh, no, he was a bum. Actually, come to think of it, her her husband now is kind of a bum. <laughs> so her picker is broken. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, never she's going to be upset that I said that. No, but. she's okay. They're yeah. not bums. No, Jan- but I love her. her. Janice. I, lo- I love her Janice, very much. Janice, you're great. Yeah. Just, you keep dancing, Janice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep dancing, Janice. <laughs> Got to get her. Uh, but then my dad's uh, been with uh, my stepmom since I was like 11. So, and she's great. She's great. And I have two little sisters now. So you guys probably have uh, re visual. Re- re- yeah, I mean, I'm divorced. I just, I'm. Oh, you're divorced. Oh my God, Ter- yeah. morose. Jeez, <laughs> so terrible. Jeez. Yeah. Nah, just- but we're, but me and her are still. She's actually, we're still really close. Like she's, she's coming to see me next month. Who's that? Your my ex-wife. Ex. Yeah, yeah. You have children? No. Thank God. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I got, I got that fucking retarded dog. That's uh. That's Bill Hicks. Bill Hicks. Yeah. Bill Hicks. <laughs> All he wants to do is snuggle and sleep. That's great. Yeah, yeah. he's a good boy. I like friendly dogs. I yeah. don't like these dogs where you have to, you go in somebody's house and they have to put the dog in the back room and there's uh, people yeah. over. And, and it's You can't control your dog? Why don't yeah. you just buy a lion? Yeah. You know, what are you doing here? Like Jumanji when they put the lion in the bedroom. <laughs> Fucking 
lions are scary. Did you uh did you watch Tiger King when that came out? No, I'm not a fan of a talking fucking tiger. Oh yeah, okay, it's never mind. A, uh, no, a lion. Never mind. No, no first it was it just it was a because he's talking about lions. lions. It's a franchise. Uh, it's a franchise. Well, how that, are the it's a franchise that won't go away. First it was the play, and then Disney made the movie, and the whole country coalesced. Coalesced around the Lion King. Lions don't talk. Lions don't talk. Okay. But if you believe, oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Funny you brought that up. I hate the lion. I'm probably the only one in the whole country that despises that franchise. Every it just wouldn't go away. It just wouldn't go away. Everybody was talking about the Lion King, a cartoon an an animated. Talking lion. Yeah, Are you shitting me? You know they made it live action. <sighs> Later. <laughs> I bet they did. They, they did. did. They, they squeezed the shit out of that franchise. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Oh. The only thing worse than that is Clint Eastwood teaching that long-faced woman how to box. <laughs> oh, Million Dollar <laughs> Baby. Yeah. All just so she could fall on the stool. <laughs> what a shitty ending! <laughs> <laughs> Terrible movie. Oh, <laughs> that was a great movie. Yeah, yeah, that's a that is that's, that's a solid fucking it. film right one. there. Am I bowling tonight? Um, I text the guys. I think you have to be in the league to sub for us. Oh, oh, you mean you can't make I don't know, an you want to come? And, I, I mean, I'm not going to tell them that you're not Maverick McWilliams or Curtis Nelson. Wait, Maverick's in on that? Yeah, he's in the league. How the fuck did Ma Oh, oh, because he was probably already in it. No, no, we we needed a fourth person and we couldn't find anybody. Maverick wanted a bowl. How long? How far is the? Uh... It's like a thirty. It's like forty minutes from here. Yeah, it's on it's the in, other side of the river. Lake. Yeah, it's like it's closer to where I. How far is the Barton Creek Square Mall from here? Uh, not too far. Yeah, it's, it's like just on the other side of downtown. Like it. yeah. It's on the other side of the city. That's a nice mall too. Yeah. What are you going there for? I need some more uh, a new, uh, some some more footwear. So you see, so I hate buying shoes off the internet. I'm a big. I like to go. I like to <laughs> die. <laughs> Excuse me. I'll, I like to go in person shopping, but it's hard to get uh to get over there. Why is that? Because I'm lazy. That's not hard. It's just you're lazy. It's yeah. Not, I sleep. No I, I gotta to quit that. sleeping so late. What time do you wake up? Every oh day? my god! I don't go to bed till real late. So you gotta just eleven, twelve. Oh okay. So okay. Yeah, I try you to don't be get up back by, from the club till late. I try to be up by twelve, but sometimes it's three, and I'm like, fuck. Yeah. Hey, it was nice meeting <laughs> you, dude. Bye, buddy. Hey, take Justin. it easy. Nice seeing you Thank again. You. Nice seeing you. I, Bye, I think guys. You're from the creek in the cave, right? I no. Saw, I saw you uh, last night. I saw you night before. Oh, great. Sets. You met him at you. Mothership with me. He's my buddy. Right, it was nice meeting you, Justin. You're visiting from out of town. I gotta grab the Uber. Bye, buddy. See you later, okay. man. Bye, bye. Call me when you get home. Yeah, sorry. I had my buddy was in town. He was just waiting for his. Flight, Look, so. Bill's like, what the hell? Bill's so sad now. Now who is he gonna snuggle with? But uh, but yeah, I uh. Yeah, I try to be up by uh, by twelve is is my goal. My alarm is for eleven, but I, I don't ever use. I don't right. ever. I don't it's know. I, tough. Wake, I like always wake up at like eight o'clock and then I lay in bed and just wake Scroll. up and fall back asleep. No, I just go to sleep. I will wake up. I go to sleep. I'll try and get out. I usually get out of bed between like ten and eleven though. Yeah, it's like if I wake up at eight and get up, I know that I have to go to work and then I'm at work until two in the morning. Do you so. work the most out of all the door guys there? No. Like time wise, hours. Mm -mm. It changes every week. Yeah, it changes every week. I'm, Just like the comics. I work four days a week there. I know there's a few comics there that work. I five. do four days at Vulcan. There's a few yeah. guys that work five days a week. I'm the uh, head honcho over there at Vulcan. Oh, you are? Yeah. I pretty much own Vulcan. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to clip that. Yeah, yeah. We're going to clip the shit out of that. <laughs> oh, you know, I had a, I had a pod. <laughs> I had a podcast and uh, oh, that's what I wanted. Yeah, yes. and we didn't clip anything. It, it was just what it was. That yeah. was it. No editing. And were y'all doing? Was that audio only? No, that was. Uh, it was. Video. Was that at the old Death Squad Studios? Red Bands in L.A. Yes. First, it was. Uh, yeah, it was in Burbank, uh, in his little studio storefront, 
on uh, Magnolia Street. Okay. Is that the and one? And then that- he moved to Austin. So then I, two years ago, I went to Austin, and we did some more from his, uh, his residence in mm. uh, Plugerville. Mm-hmm. Mm. And that was a lot of fun. And then I went back to L.A. The club hadn't opened yet. And uh, I did a little Dead Air L.A. But it's, it's hard to get, uh, uh, you know, uh, and I did a few episodes there. And mm. now that's. There's a few of your uh, Dead Air shirts floating around uh, at Vulcan, too. Right, I gave yeah. all dropped off last the, when you were here the first I'm time. I'm sorry, I, I I should have brought some uh, shirts with me. No, no, all no. good. I have two shirts that uh, you're at the Vulcan. When are you at the Vulcan? I'm there on Tuesdays, Thursday through Saturday. Tuesdays and then Thursday through Saturday. I'll drop off a shirt. I'll drop one for you. Yeah, cool, awesome. thank you. It's uh, it's uh, I heard Holtzman. Nice, awesome. You can get him on. There's a link on my uh, Instagram. Cool. We'll put that in the. Uh, We'll, make, uh, well, Nick, not we. <laughs> Nick, yeah, Nick, will, Nick will make that happen. We'll I got a bunch your back. Of stuff up for you. Yeah, to tell everyone where to check it out and put yeah. the links to like your special on YouTube. It's check a pretty out. unique yeah. shirt. Yeah, yeah, I loved your special, by the way. Yeah, so I've seen it, I sent it to my parents, and like all my parents' friends loved it. Like, yeah, like, great. They liked it a lot. It's uh, and you can find that special very, very easily. It's all you YouTube. have to do is type in cancel Holtzman. Dot com. There you and go. It goes right to my website. Hell yeah. And right now on my uh, YouTube channel, I have 2,999 subscribers. And that's because I, I don't let anyone subscribe to the channel. They have to be screened and vetted. You know, I could have a million followers. Yeah. I don't want a million people that that, mm. that, that how, aren't worthy of my channel. Yeah. yeah. So how that's you, why fair. I keep it. You know. How do you how do you uh, how do you vet them? I can't discuss that with you, Mason. Oh. oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wise, wise choice. <laughs> Here it is. I've got uh, yeah, two point nine nine k. So who wants to be the three thousand? Who wants to be the three thousand? We have <laughs> there's a billion people, and I can't even get three thousand. Yeah, I was about to say, I'll be, I'll check it out. Look again, refresh. Yeah, see if it worked. <laughs> hey, it, Eddie Vetter. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> oh, yeah, we'll put the link and everything for everyone to check that out too, because it's incredible. Oh. There it is. Did it work? Incredible. Number three thousand. Oh, yeah, Holy yeah. God. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, Three thousand and one doesn't matter. Three yeah, what time is that? I'm gonna. It? Yeah, I might as don't have my. Yeah, but you're not doing it. You're not there yet. So let's. Fuck you. I'm doing it right now. <laughs> all right, all right. Nick, you have a phone. Nick? I do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, Are you Rylan, gonna, you're gonna Rylan, prove me. You gotta subscribe too. <laughs> yeah. Let's yeah. get three thousand and three going. Well, I just want to say that here at High Noon, we're very, very grateful for our two hundred and ninety-one. We're. Subscribe. We're almost at 300. <laughs> we're almost yeah. at 300. Maybe we have a gate like that on. Maybe that's why we don't have as many subscribers. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're not just letting anybody subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not just letting anybody subscribe to it. Oh, man. That's incredible. What was the... Uh, so you got... So you just got to the store and they just... They well, just, wait a minute. This says... Feeling. Shut up, Mason. Oh, that's <laughs> You got to the store, store and it was just like... They instantly liked you and you got... They just let you keep Oh, yeah. Mitzi Shaw. Awesome. Mitzi Shaw and I, we hit it off. I got a spot every single night. That's awesome. Seven nights a week. It could only get worse. Yeah. It couldn't, couldn't get, get any, any better. better. Yeah. So I was uh, on the list with Andrew Dice Clay and Eddie Griffin and Carlos Mencia and just about anybody that dropped in. And it was just a magical time. I mean, uh, yeah. And she ruined my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I would have just been a pilot. You know? Oh, there we go. I would have still been a pilot and making money. Um, what was it like being at the store during that whole Carlos Mencia, Joe Rogan issue? Luckily, I wasn't there. Oh, you were? Okay. That evening. Oh, that when, evening. Yeah, right, right, when right. That, when that debolical uh, happened. But. Yeah. Yeah, and like Red Band filmed that. Yeah, I was like, but the tension throughout like that whole time period. I mean, was there a lot? I mean, the store. I mean, people talk about it, but I mean, we don't know anything. I don't know anything about it. I'm well, f- people were reluctant to go up when he was around mm-hmm. yeah. because he was uh, 
a prolific uh, lifter. Yeah. Right, right. To be that's a nice way to say it. And uh, and he's not shy about it. He yeah. admits it. Mm. And uh, it's probably the worst things you can do in the business is uh, take somebody else's uh, thoughts. Have yeah. you ever had any jokes. situations where someone took one of your jokes or anything? Uh, it's very difficult to lift what I do. Yeah, for yeah. sure. And, right. Uh, I'd probably influence some people in different directions or different subject matter. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and that's a compliment, I guess. Yeah. yeah I don't care. Right. I don't, I, I don't care. I'm not going to sweat it because, uh, there's just new material all the time. Right. Right. Yeah. And I like to focus on things that the audience uh, can identify with immediately mm -hmm. whether they like it or not that's that's not up to I don't care as comics we have to you can't worry about your audience yeah you, you know it, you can't pander to the audience I don't think yeah you tell but, them what, uh, that's our job to figure out to like you know come up with what what we know is funny and present it but uh, hopefully it works, right? <laughs> when it doesn't, you sit there and you correct, and you can. High noon, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so you heard that? Oh yeah. <laughs> loud, loud and clear. <laughs> Hey, uh, can I? So uh, you were in the Air Force. I wanted to talk about you being in the Air Force. Did you get to fly planes? No, I was ground support. Okay, so control, control, coming yeah. in one niner. Uh, <laughs> Baker, one -niner. Baker, one niner. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And uh, I was in Okinawa for four and a half years. And they told you as soon as you got to the base, they said, "Do not go off base and buy the cough medicine, Brone." B R O N. Okay. So, so you went and bought it. Well, don't yeah. say anything about it. Yeah, probably everybody. wouldn't have bought it. You yeah. Know? <laughs> I don't what even did have it a do? cough. What it, was it like lean promethazine? It has, was it uh, like codeine? In it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like what Lil Wayne liked. It's uh, it's a, uh, it's a cheap uh, heroin. I right, guess. Yeah. right. It's like a hydrocodone in a liquid. Yeah. All I can explain is this feeling. Shh. <laughs> So you drink a bottle of that. It was just a tiny little bottle. And then you get on your motorcycle, and it was uh, wonderful. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hey, I like that. That sounds awesome. That's, that, yeah. I don't recommend it. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, what kind of bike were you on over there? It was my first motorcycle. It was uh, a Yamaha 125. Cool. Was it Enduro, enduro you know. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Very cool. Which I used to race motocross. Thing. Really? Yeah. I had a, Suzu a 125 Suzuki Enduro. Like, I, that's what I learned to ride dirt bikes on. Uh, was yours a, was a four-stroke or a two-stroke? Two-stroke. Nice. Yeah, yeah I had a... Uh, my last bike was a YZ250F. With a four, the big old thumper. I gave up on the motorbikes now. I'm going to cut my losses. Yeah, well, so I always... I would love to have a... I would love to get oh, a Harley. Oh, they're so cool. Yeah, I love riding bikes and everything. But I think that this is a dangerous city to be riding uh, motorcycles. Yeah, it's not in. a place to ride motorcycles. Yeah, I, mean, I thought about getting a little pit bike to ride around on. I want one. I want a Vespa. I want to get a little Vespa. Have you have you seen the Honda, uh, the Ramblers, they're called? They're a little moped, but they look cool. You ever seen one? It's called a Rambler. Or a Ruckus. They're called a Ruckus. Yeah, that's what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Those are pretty neat. But uh, they get stole. They get thefted. They get what? Stole. Stole. Lifted. Lifted. Yeah. Stolen, that... you dumb shit. Yep. <laughs> I, you, knew... <laughs> you knew what I meant. Yeah, and that's the worst part. They get <laughs> That's the worst part about being your friend is I don't know if you're dumb or I'm dumb. Because <laughs> you, you don't realize that you're dumb, but I realize what you're saying when you're being dumb. Well, you knew what I meant. I'm, of course, Mason. <laughs> 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 so, oh, shit. so when you were in uh, Okinawa, uh, Okin <laughs> what was that? Uh, Okinawa, Okinawa, Okinawa. Uh, that's in Japan. And yeah. uh, <laughs> call back. <laughs> Japan, you fucking asshole. Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't go Japandering to people. Um, so when you were uh, 
Well, I'm sorry, we forgot to tell you. Oh, he loves puns. Shut his mic off. <laughs> Shut his <laughs> <Brian. and> mic <Michael. laughs> We call him the Punisher. I got merch. Yeah, behind you, right there. You got the little, little coffee cups. <laughs> you drink oh, it better be worth it. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can check those out at the teespring.com slash. Uh, <laughs> oh, but uh, anyways, <laughs> so what? What year were you? Uh, were you over there and stationed over there? Oh, in the early eighties, eighty two. It was a fun time. No oh, cameras. It went like this. It went this quick. Yeah. Like, it was now, just, did you uh you 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 volunteered? You went on oh, purpose? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And did you ever, you were there for four years straight. You never no, came? two and a half years, 30 months. Okay. Before that, I was in uh, McGuire Air Force Base, New Jersey. This is, listen to this. My father thinks he's getting rid of me, joining the Air Force. He thinks he's, I'm in McGuire Air Force Base, New Jersey, about an hour and a half by car. <laughs> <laughs> Every Friday night, that carpool would drop me off at home. Yeah. <laughs> Drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Dad. I'm doing what you wanted I'm, me to I'm do. Back. You know, they, they fooled me. They said, this is very bad marijuana, so you have to really suck on it hard. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that marijuana. <laughs> yeah. I got fucking yeah. stoned. Just taking big old rips. <laughs> I remember Shit. my mother coming in the backyard and I was I was chucking chucking uh, oh. <laughs> she said don't you come home if you're gonna come home drunk <laughs> but uh, yeah that was something else that's fun and then uh, Sunday evenings I would take the train and to New York City uh, from Long Island and walk up 8th Avenue that's when the red light district was going you know mm. Before okay. they cleaned that was it when, up. That was when New York was yeah. shit. Dirty New yeah. York. And I used to walk up 8th Avenue and get the uh, bus, the Port Authority bus station. And that would take me back to the base on Sunday evenings. That's cool. Nice. What would you do when you were there? When what? you were in New York? I would. Uh, I just told you. Go to the yeah. red light district. Yeah. <laughs> and then Get what? High. Yeah. <laughs> I can't discuss that with you, Mason. Sorry. <laughs> You know, I yeah, well, I already told that story. Huh? Yeah, we've heard it a bunch of times. <laughs> I got burned trying to buy a prostitute one time. Yeah, he just he's an idiot and doesn't understand technology <laughs> and gave some per random stranger through cash money apps on his phone like twelve hundred dollars. And wow, and, be and careful with that. Yeah, she, she never, just, she never gotta, came. She ne- <laughs> neither did you, and neither did you. <laughs> no, I was probably just sitting and jerking off. Yeah, that's the idea. <laughs> You paid twenty four hundred dollars to jerk off five times. Oh man, oh, that's incredible. Wow. <laughs> um, so, when's the last time you had a motorcycle? Uh, I bought uh, uh, an eleven hundred Honda, mm. and the, it wasn't working properly. I've had like three motorcycles, and uh, I had the uh, the uh, what was it? 800 or 750 um, uh, Pacific Honda uh, Pacific Pacifica yeah yeah remember yeah, that yeah. one yeah. they call it the yeah. Tupperware I know what you're talking they about they call it a, a, a gold wing a baby gold wing gold wing okay yeah. yeah it almost looks like a scooter that was a great motorcycle right right and it's got the speakers you know, on you it you want shit. that nice comfortable riding yeah. position you know right. you want that nice comfortable Cruisers. riding position mm-hmm. I never bought a Harley Davidson because uh you usually have to lock those up. Yeah. And I didn't have a secure place to keep them. Plus, they're yeah. pretty expensive. Yeah. They're very um, expensive. When you live and they're very temperamental. I, my, yeah, my yeah. You need both to know how parent. to work on them. Yeah, mm. my parent, both my parents, my dad's rode motorcycles. My dad had like a Honda, uh, like had, had a Honda Goldwing, but my stepdad, he was into like Harleys and stuff and he was in like a motorcycle gang and shit and stuff yeah. when I was growing up and stuff. It was wild. Yeah. He joined that, he joined the motorcycle club when I was in like, beginning of high school and he's like yeah it's just a gentleman's club I was like okay cool but then all of a sudden like we stopped taking family vacations and he just started doing everything with the club oh <laughs> so, all right, all right wait did cool. he have to be a prospect yep really so it, so it was just like it was like a midlife crisis he's yeah, like i'm gonna much, become pretty, a prospect much. of a, a he's motor- basically just hanging out with like thugs yeah <laughs> yeah yeah and that they were like moving crank yeah probably yeah, yeah have you bad. ever done hard drugs hard drugs yeah like back in the day or no. any, 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 never experienced. You, you ever done psychedelics? 
I've done some mushrooms, I think, in high school. Yeah, that, but that was about it. Yeah. I figured that was big in the Air Force because uh, you can't like get drug tested for, for psychedelics. There was a guy going to the Philippines and uh, taking marijuana back and in, in sneaking it in a mamasan chair. Into and what? And then selling it on base. Yeah. It, what's what's mamasan chair? A mamasan chair? What's that? Show it on the screen. Pull it up, Nick. Mamasan chair if you want. And... uh and uh, it, it's it's a chair. Is that like a, a oriental that... rocking chair? I don't know if it rocks, uh, <laughs> Mason. See, I'm, I, when I, see, I think I know what you're talking about, but I always was told it was called a papa son chair. Okay, well so they have mama, one for mama and for papa. Very true. They come in pairs. I bet you're talking about the wood, the wooden chair that's like the half circle with the right, thing in it. Right, that's it. Oh, and sits on the stand. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That is not it. That's no, nope, that's. That's a good, you know. That's a good try. That's tr- a Mala Mason chair. That's 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 Mala my chair. That's, that's a Mala good, Mason. That's a good try, though. Mason <laughs> chair. That's Mala Mason. Yeah, I don't know. I, what is no Mama? Try Papa Song. Mama Song. Papa Song. Type in Papa Song chair. Who cares? I think I, I might get know. Papa John today. Oh, very good. You're getting hungry, Mason? Are you? Yeah, I don't eat. Bre- I only eat once a day. Right, that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, yeah, and it's it, it really works. Man. They say it's good for. I do it out of laziness, though. I think this breakfast is just a, a way to sell eggs. Yeah, <laughs> bacon you know, and. But milk. I love breakfast food. I mean, I eat. I'll wake up at I like noon and eat food breakfast too. food. I don't right. have to wake up at six to go to a. Fucking, right, right. This spot doesn't serve breakfast at or ten. That spot can go fuck themselves. Uh, you know what I, I'm saying? Like, I heard recently that breakfast was invented by uh, you know uh, big uh, big food. Yeah, uh, to 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 sell more stuff. Yeah, you don't need two thousand thirty five hundred calories. Yeah, you're not even hungry for lunch. I do love Waffle House, but that's at like four. In I the haven't morning. been to Waffle House yet. Can you believe it? Oh, I we should go. go. I've never been to one. We should I go to Waffle, Waffle House. Yeah, should we fun. go? They yes. have pancakes. Go. Yeah, they got every. They got well waffles. Yeah. Just waffle. No, no, pancakes. no. You can get pancakes. You can get yeah. pancakes. I like the. Uh, they got the All Star. And it, it's got, you know, you get the sausage, the scrambled eggs. Mm-hmm. I don't know. This. The, the waffle. Been. Oh, you've never been to a Waffle House either? No, I've only been to IHOP. Waffle House blows uh, IHOP Denny's out of the water. And Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. Waffle House is great. I do love chicken and waffles, but Waffle House doesn't have that. Uh, when I was in Charleston, South Carolina, Not best chicken and waffles I ever had. Don't at, remember at where. House no, no, no. Okay, okay. Just someplace. Yeah. Cool. They have so a shout of, out to those guys. They have a lot of houses in Charleston that they turned into restaurants. Yeah. Kind of like Rainy Street here. Oh, yeah. Except for Rainy, those are just bars. But Do they serve food there? There's food trucks. Yeah. That's where they, uh, that serial killer's Maybe. at. Maybe. Or just drunk so Did they catch drowning. him yet? No. Is it even a serial killer or is it just I heard drunk it was a idiots? Cu- yeah. I heard it was a couple. Like a man I and mean, a woman. And uh, I mean, there's lots of theories about it. Yeah. But I mean, have they... They find all these but dead how, bodies drown, not drown, but, but eight ju- of them. Yeah, people. Some people can't swim. The water's right there, and again, people are like, "Let's go smoke down," you know, and they're fucking pissed. Or someone got roofied on in general, unrelated, went down. Who knows? Uh, they're not yeah, because no one's it's died right there. since. No one's. They're just so finding you th- people you th- that can't swim. You think it's 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 not a serial killer? Nah, it's just. People. I don't know. That'd be more I, exciting if I it was. I just think it's people that can't swim. Like I said, I don't read, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you're never going to know. <laughs> <laughs> Unless things affect me directly, I don't really know about them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. I uh, do love, I mean, I love, I keep up with movies and whatnot and TV shows. I love, I love TV. Mm. Big, big fan. Do you watch a lot of TV? I don't have a television in my home. Fuck yeah. Nice. What about a laptop? No, this is it right here. So you don't, so you don't, so you don't watch series or, or you just go to the theater if you're gonna watch something. Once in a while, if I want, if there's something, something in the movie good. I want to see, I'll go to the theater. Okay. <laughs> you say it weird. The theater. You say it weird. Shut up. <laughs> he says theater. 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 Uh, my motor vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. what uh what do you think you uh do you remember the first movie you ever saw i saw uh true grit in the movie theater that's a great movie do you like the new one with jeff bridges the oh. remake 
Uh, I haven't seen it. It's very good. I think you'd like it. They that's did a, that's they, the one he's seen. I don't no, think he's seen I, the original. That's bullshit. I <laughs> love John Wayne, and I've seen the original True Grit. Do you like Sons of Kate Elder? Oh, yes. That's a yes. good one. And McClintock, that's a good one, too. Even the one where the... Uh, is True Grit the ones where he's uh, moving the cattle with the children? Uh, well, True Grit's where he's Rooster Cogburn, and right. he's trying to track down the killer of the girl. The girl's dad got murdered, and they're trying to find Ned Pepper. Right, right, right. Yeah. Tell me I don't know True Grit. <laughs> that singer is in it. Uh, well, Robert Duvall is the original Ned Pepper, I right. believe, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, which is pretty funny. A young Robert Duvall. Pretty cool knowing that he was in a real Western back then, you know? Because I love Lonesome Dove, too. Okay. That's a book. Hadn't read How it. How about Brokeback Mountain? No. <laughs> That's Mason's favorite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, this is great. I love how Mason's trying to connect with you on like, oh, we, like the old, we like the same old movies. And then he's just like, you're a f- <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Oh, they, you like Brokeback Mountain? You're queer. They were, that was some good. They were method acting. That would have been a role I would have turned down. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they won Best Kiss that year. Wait, from what? <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, you know what's even gayer than that? You know that. Yeah, what do you mean Best Kiss? Is this Was that your favorite man-on-man kiss of 2015? Because the only Best Kiss I remember was between Sarah Michelle Gellar and the other chick from Cool Intentions on MTV. It's the only Best Kiss I've ever remembered That's from funny. any award show. <laughs> Fucking oh. loser, dude. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> Brian, have you ever been arrested? Numerous times. Really? For real? In the Air Force. In the Air Force? Oh. Do you mind talking about and, one of those? And, uh, Tell us about Gel it. Tales, baby. And once in uh, Los Angeles. Would it be? Do you mind telling us one of those stories? No, the Air Force was... Uh, it was at Gate 2 Street, and uh, I don't know why I was apprehended. I, I, was, I, had, I wasn't doing anything. I guess they were training. I was innocent. I don't know why I was taken into custody. Yeah, me neither. I never. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, the, you know I, I didn't do anything. Yeah. I didn't do anything. Yeah, they're always, they're always just ruining good times. I'll tell you the one about in Korea. Oh, I went to Korea. I've been watching a lot of MASH lately. <laughs> on a TDY assignment, temporary duty assignment. It was supposed to be for a week. Could have been two weeks. So the first time I got there, I rented a bicycle from the base. This is Kwangju, Korea, in the wintertime. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and I go downtown. I thought you were gonna do one. I go downtown, and I I start drinking this uh, uh, sake, this Korean sake called soju. It's like water. It's clear. It doesn't even have any kind of taste, even. And before you know it, you're shit faced, just completely shit faced, shit faced out of your mind. I got this Korean woman on the back of the mo- uh, bicycle. She falls off. I keep going. Yeah, right? you- <laughs> <laughs> I got my members only jacket. You know, back yeah, then, yeah, yeah. Members of course. Only. The yeah. whole country was buying members, members only yeah. jacket. I've, the- I've, I've honestly had like two or three of those yeah. just growing up. Like, yeah, members only. It was, it was huge. A big deal. Yeah. So I got my members only, black members only jacket. I take the bicycle right into the rice paddy, full of mud. I leave the bike in the rice paddy. I yeah. walk to the gate, You're gonna go lose back your on the base, and they want to see my ID. I say, I'm the one who keeps those planes flying. I don't need to show you my ID. Don't you know who I am? This went on for like 10 minutes. <laughs> Finally, the captain came, and uh, he he took me back uh, to the base, and they just covered me with a blanket. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, he'll be fine. The next morning, the next morning, uh, we're eating chow, and they, the first sergeant comes up to me. And he says, you're going out of here. You're on the next flight out of here. I said, will there be? I'm still drunk. I said, will there be champagne on? I'm a sergeant at this point. Yeah. Oh, wow. And uh, I said, will there be champagne on the flight? 
bam, they put me in one of those little private jets, you know, for the generals and shit. And they, and, and guess who's on the plane? The DCM, the D Deputy Commander for Maintenance. That's the big, big wig. That's, okay. he, he even outranks the base commander. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Deputy Commander for Maintenance for the whole... So and he's got all his he's got all his uh, souvenirs from Korea the beds the brass bed the blankets the uh, quilts all the shit all, all the stuff get, that he got for super cheap yeah, yeah yeah filled in the back of the plane he talks to me he says do you know who I am you know what I told him yeah you're John Wayne <laughs> <laughs> he didn't say another word to me the no. whole time. <laughs> We go back, we get off in Korea. They put me in this uh, like a ready room that the pilots hang out in overnight. Worst hangover I ever had in my life. Oh, oh my God. Next morning, they put me on the same plane back to Okinawa with, that, with the same guy. Oh, yeah. And then I went back there and... Uh, but that was... Uh, Did he talk to you then or no? No. No. <laughs> he would not communicate with me. And I had nothing to say to him. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah. I had nothing to say to him. <laughs> I think I tried to make conversation once or something. I don't know. It didn't work out. Yeah. And uh, I went back to the base. And then they told me I could only come out of the room, the barracks to eat chow and... So that was uh, that was and the, and it was a lousy assignment too. They they worked twelve hours, sixteen hours a day for the whole time they were there. They never got to go downtown any. So in hindsight, it was lucky I got out of there. Yeah, yeah. It was lucky I got out of there. <laughs> yeah, because it was a lousy assignment. Right. You know, they were F-15s and uh, they needed a lot of maintenance, just a lot of maintenance. And so, so you were a sergeant within uh, within a few years. I was a sergeant, yeah. And then I lost my sergeant stripe. I don't understand. I was a sergeant. What is that? What the hell? Is... The web for it. <laughs> Shut up, bitch! <laughs> I don't know why that's is that you? I guess that was my phone. Is that your phone? <laughs> that's so wild. No, I don't know. Yeah, no, it's just sitting here. I don't know why that went off. Oh, maybe because sergeant sounds like Siri. Maybe. Because it repeated sergeant, so. Yeah, sergeant. Whatever, sorry. Uh, <laughs> so, I just found out that the deadline for you to bowl with us as a sub has passed, but, I mean. I feel like there should be an exception. Is it, maybe Who told you that? Tony Casillas. Fuck Tony Casillas. He's, he's, he's checking with the person that runs our league. Like, we, we pay money every week to bowl. In, in this Market league. zero. All I'm saying is if you want to come, Brian, I'll take you with me. And I'm not going to tell him you're hey, not. Hey, Brian, I'll come I'll, and you and we me can, play, can just bowl to the game. side. <laughs> <laughs> you and me will have fun over off to, just, in another I'll, lane. All I'm saying is you guys, I don't, I'm not going to say nothing. You, you, you text Tony and say, motherfucker, you let me bowl with you tonight. I mean, I'm not going to tell the league that you're not. Maverick or Curtis, if you show up. I think this sounds like a bunch of bullocracy. Yeah. What the? That's not even a word. Yeah, like bullshit rockracy. That's Isaac not a word either. is a word. That's not a word either. <laughs> it's a mix of bullshit and bureaucracy. Bureaucracy. <sighs> bureaucracy. God damn it. What is bu bureaucracy? It's like when people don't give you what you want because they're like voting on stuff. Let's get that on the. It's like bureaucracy. That's what I said. But I mixed it with bull. Yeah. Bull rockracy. Bull. Brian, you're with me here, right? No, he's texting. He's not <laughs> Dude, to you. bureaucracy. Uh, a system uh, of government. He's texting Tony right now, calling Tony a piece of shit, and I can't wait <laughs> to talk. Uh, yeah, just, just go off on him. Give no. him a piece of your no, mind. Okay. This is great podcasting. I don't care. <laughs> Honestly, though, Brian, if you want to come with, come with us, just come and bowl. I don't no, I got the address. Know. I don't know what I'm going to do. This is my priority today. Yeah. Hell thank yeah. You. Oh, Appreciate you. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming. And it's uh, been great. Do you so, have like a, so you, I mean, you were at the store a lot. Do you have like any fun stories <laughs> that you could share with us about? Like I met, like uh, I met a lot of uh, b big uh, personalities there and that mm -hmm. was a lot of fun. You know, uh, going up on the same show as Andrew Dice Clay mm. and uh, you know, who thought that and Paulie Shore and, uh, I met uh, Soupy Sales. My mom and I met Soupy Sales once at uh, Dick Van Dyke. Uh, oh wow! That's cool. And uh, did you ever meet Andy Griffith? No, 
Did you see? Tell your listeners, you got to see this movie. Have you seen this movie? What? A Face in the Crowd. I haven't seen it. No. I don't you know. Gotta that see one. it. What's it about? What's that? It's Andy Griffith. Oh, okay. Okay. Because he Play, was a playing comic, a real. Wasn't he, wasn't he a comic, Andy Griffith? I'm not sure about that. I I I I, I can would. Can you Google that? Sure. And uh, or you can Google it. Okay, go ahead. Uh oh. Hello? Yes. Are you on a podcast? Did you get my text message? Uh, yeah. Well, I don't understand why you're asking that. Oh, I'd like to ask the same question that I get in the text. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it? I'd like to just confirm that, that what you said in the text was actually what you meant. Uh, well, now I'm on the podcast, so it's like, you know, the reason I sent the text, so... Jeez. Sorry? All right. Thank you. Who was it? It's my friend Al Berman. He does a great ba a baby impression. <laughs> <laughs> I sent him a text <laughs> telling him I'm on a podcast. <laughs> And now he wants to know. I said, didn't you? Didn't I send you? Everybody's on the spectrum. Everybody's crazy. Yeah, wow. Everybody. It says, it says Andy crazy. Griffith was a comic. It yeah, says see, actor, comedian, so. television producer, singer, and writer whose career uh, spans seven decades. I thought so. I knew. Who's I thought that? so. Andy Griffith. Yeah. Yeah. But you said what's your, what was your first name? Oh, um, by the way, did you ever meet Robin Williams? Yes. Was he Very nice? Cool. Was it great? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody uh everybody was real nice at the comedy store. Come on. That's awesome. Everybody? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you you hung up on me. Oh my god. <laughs> no, you know, you're, you're oh so crazy, god, man. Like, you make me you make me want to cry like a baby. <laughs> 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 That's a real convincing baby, Al. <laughs> Thank you, Al. Thanks, Al. <laughs> I'm on the High Noon Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get back to your uh, podcast. I, I, I'll go cry in the corner here by myself. All right, thank All right, you, bye, Al. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. bye. <laughs> Thanks for calling in. This is disturbingly very. <laughs> let's see, let's see this guy, Albert man. Oh, that's funny. This guy. Oh, wait, have, wait, have Nick. Yeah, that's Al Berman. On the big one. Yeah, Al Berman, nice. Hell yeah, cool. Shout out Al. What's his name? Al Burma, B E R M A N. What do you think of that TV? You like that? Fucking How many inches is that? That's 80. Wow. Yeah, it's cool, right? That's three inches. How much does a TV like that cost? I don't know. 3,000? That's my roommates. I don't know. I just get to use it. What? Wow. Uh, I'll tell you, I love doing ketamine and watching it. You better watch out with that ketamine, uh, Mason. Oh, no, it's for mental health. Oh, yeah. Oh, it is? No, yeah. it's not. Yeah, huh? Well, you can go to a doctor now. Do you? I do it at home. <laughs> yeah, so it's not for <laughs> mental health, you piece of shit. It's yeah, recreational. Yeah. <laughs> you dumb fuck. It right. helps me manifest um, thoughts. Oh, man. Brian, this is great. Uh, I have, uh, this is a segment I like to do. Is like now that you've been on the podcast and spoke to Mason, what's your favorite thing about him? His collection. <laughs> <laughs> the collection of, of posters and yeah, and <laughs> license plates. <laughs> and, and his, no, his disposition is very positive. He's a very positive person. He's very happy. He's he's. Uh, I I think he's like. Uh, you like people who uh, are who they are. You don't have to figure them out. There's no uh, mask, you know. Yeah, very simple. A lot simple. of people just don't know <laughs> how to. Very simple. Just simple don't know how to. Word he's very saying. authentic. Yeah. Yes. Authentic people are easy to like because yeah. 
they're authentic. There's yeah. nothing going on. There's no uh, <laughs> nothing going on back yeah. here. Yeah. Going on in there at all. <laughs> yeah. Oh you don't have to worry about him uh, winning yeah. the spelling bee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, never. <laughs> All right, that's good. Um, and now, uh, second part. Second part of the question is, what don't you like about him? <laughs> I guess his souvenir collection. <laughs> <laughs> no, come on. What do you? Re- what's the, the real thing? No, I don't have any uh, negative to say about Mason. I you don't mean, think there's something he could correct about himself to make him more yeah, likable to he, you, or get better? Yeah, or just <laughs> be a better himself. person. <laughs> No, no, I'm not his. I'm not Lisa. I'm not his mom. <laughs> <laughs> Janice, exclaimer. Oh, ja- was it Lisa or Janice? Janice. 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 Sorry, Janice. Sorry, Janice. <laughs> I didn't mean to call you Lisa. <laughs> oh shit, that's so funny. Everyone knows it's Janice. <laughs> it's Janice. She's dancing. <laughs> Hell oh, yeah, that's so funny. Um, yeah. <sighs> I just wanted to get that out of the way. We don't have to stop or nothing. Oh okay. Well, do you do you have anything you need to do? Yeah, I'd like to take a piss. Yeah, I got to piss too. We take a so little pee we, break yeah. and come back. What? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I did want to ask you one thing. Yeah, we can we can we can if you guys have pressing things. We have nothing going on. Yeah, so I don't have shit. We, we cleared our schedule today for you. What well, do you have like one specific night that like stands out? That was like the craziest night you ever had at the comedy store. It was like the funnest or anything stands out like that. I'm sure well, you had tons of fun times. One of the craziest nights was uh, Stu Smiley was in the original room. That's the smaller room of the two. And I was performing uh, when Martin Lawrence was in the room with his bodyguard. I don't know if you've heard this story. I have not heard the story. No. And... Uh, you can always tell Martin Lawrence because his ears just go straight out from his skull. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I was on stage and I made the mistake of getting off stage and going over to Martin Lawrence. I wasn't having any uh, intentions of, 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 of doing anything. I just wanted to make light of the situation. Yeah. And his bodyguard hit me with a professional punch. Really? Right here. Like, right after like you punch, got off stage? Punched you? And I got, got off stage, and I went stage left, and all of a sudden, what? bam. And just like in a cartoon, one minute I'm standing there, the next minute I'm airborne <laughs> over the tables Jesus. and onto the floor, just like in the cartoons. Yeah. So I get up right away because I realize I'm not gonna hold up this show. You know, I could have, I could have played dead or <laughs> called for an ambulance and tried to make a big deal out of it. Extract money or do something or just make a scene. It was already a scene. Yeah. Stu Smiley from HBO. He said it was the most amazing thing he's ever seen in his whole life at a comedy show. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't believe it. So I got up and I just walked to the back of the room and went into the office. And that was the end of it. Wow. But I've been punched in the face before. That was not the first time. <laughs> From doing comedy? Uh, no, in, in Okinawa. Just in general, okay. Okin- I got, you know, one time I was with a girlfriend in San Francisco and I guess she said something to somebody. You know how they go after the guy yeah, if, they, yeah, right. yeah. if they don't like what the girl's doing. Yeah. So she was a blabbermouth, I guess. I had a friend. I had a friend that was like a pretty big guy, you know. Uh, and we were at a bar one time. And some girl was like talking shit to him, and like wouldn't stop pestering him. And then he just looks at her and goes, "Listen, if you, and she was with her boyfriend, and her boyfriend was small. And he just goes, "Listen, if you don't shut the fuck up, I'm gonna kick the fuck out of him." <laughs> 
<laughs> and, his, his, and then the boyfriend like grabbed her and like they left the bar immediately. It was really funny. Wow! Yeah. See how Shit. see how it works. Yeah. Right? You've yeah. been, you've been punched in the face oh, a bunch. <laughs> see? How yeah. about you, Nick? Never been punched. Oh no, I have been punched a couple times. Yeah, but I, not like in a fight, but just like accidentally. How about you? I've only been in one fight and I have won. Been, so in in like fifth grade on the bus, I don't know why this kid didn't like me, but <laughs> as he was getting off, he oh, sucked, that, that's the one time I got hit. He yeah. sucker punched me. Yeah, see, like out good. of nowhere. <laughs> that's that's good to know because it, it, it it's a badge it's a badge of experience yeah, yeah you yeah. need to be punched in the face as you a man. need to be sure. punched in the face sure. yeah yeah because yeah. then if you get punched in the face again and again or later <clears throat> later in life it's, it's not <laughs> such a big deal right right it really doesn't hurt. Yeah. you know the adrenaline kicks in it doesn't i remember the first fist fight i got in was with a, a black kid and he fucking could have just said kid I mean, yeah. No, because general. I'm saying he was taller and bigger than you me. You could have said that. A tall guy. But he was black. You, yeah, but that's right. a description that Just you went sense. to first. <laughs> he was a black kid. I don't understand <laughs> like, what the problem is. And but he but Because in my experience, when we were in high school, the black kids were like the ones that could fight. Because they had been training and boxing and shit. Okay. And I just had not, obviously. But I was like, you know, I'm not going to not fight him. I don't want to look like a fucking pussy so i squared up with i don't know what i'm doing and i remember that first punch he hit me so fast and and i just remember going he hit me and i remember going oh my god that happened so fast and i was like it didn't hurt (laughs) i remember it didn't hurt and i just started swinging he but he i don't think i even hit him one time (laughs) He, he, he kicked my ass he punched me like eight times the first time i got hit in the face with a punch I was in shock. It was in uh, maybe third grade. It was in Catholic school. They were throwing Richard Lotion's hat back and forth, you know, when they take somebody's hat yeah. and they won't give it back. <laughs> yeah. So me, being the kind of guy I am, the personality, I grabbed the hat and I give it back to Richard Lotion. Yeah. And this guy, Timothy McMo, you know, you never forget these names. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Yeah. You'll never True. forget them. Yeah, yeah. Timothy McMo. He cold cocked me with a, not this straight professional shot like I got at the comedy store. It was a round house (laughs) and it was full of fucking energy and velocity. And he (laughs) clocked me right in the face and I was like, that was the first time. So I was like in shock. Yeah. (laughs) I mean, it was a round house, sloppy fucking bam. And I didn't even see it coming. Yeah. That's the worst of yeah. it. Yeah. So that was the first time. Right. And then uh, one time I was in the Air Force walking down the hallway and I was bothering this other airman and uh, he cold cocked me. Yeah. And I, again, picked myself off, off the carpet. And went <laughs> did back you, now, to, did any of these times, did you ever swing back? No, because I was uh, the first one with Timothy McNall. You know, I was I was out of my league. You know, what was that? You know, <laughs> yeah, it's like being yeah. dropped out of an airplane. Yeah, right. Now uh, the other one I didn't swing back is because because uh, it was Martin Lawrence's. I knew I no no. This is the one in the hallway oh, in okay. Okinawa. But that uh, that was uh, I deserved it. Yeah, I got gotcha, you right. See, that's why I didn't mind when I got jumped in the truck that I was talking about earlier because I had that one coming. Uh, one time though, my senior year in high school, we're at a Halloween party and we're all drinking and we're smoking weed and this, uh, we were at my, my friend's, uh, parents' house. They were letting us all party on Halloween. They were a dentist. He was a dentist. So it was a big mansion in like Arkansas. So we're all partying and her little brother who was only like a year younger than us, he like touched my leg and I was like, don't touch me. And he goes, do you want to fight? And I was like, do you want to fight? And then he goes, yeah. And he stood up and I just like punched him right in the face. I just like, I just hit him and he had braces Uh. and it split his lip down to his chin. It like split it. He had to get stitches. It was a big deal. And come to find, I found out later that he was uh, kidding I was told that he was joking. No, he was gay. He and, wanted, and I, he wanted yeah. to wrestle with you is what he wanted. Yeah, and I, and I just ran out of the house and just got picked up by He was touching friend. your leg. You said, don't touch me. He's like, you want to fight? He really should have said, do you want to wrestle? Yeah. And like, yeah. And he, so he chose the wrong I just words, punched just him right in the face. Right in the face <laughs> fucking guy. Yeah. 
So, uh, and then another time I was with the girlfriend, yeah, and the guy was getting back at her and he was punching me in the face, but it, it didn't affect me, you know. He, he, But I never got knocked out cold. Yeah, me neither. So this guy from the comedy store, he could have, he could have detached your retina. Yeah. <laughs> he could have broke your fuck. He could have knocked all your teeth out. Right. At least the front two. He could have done some damage. But he was so good and such a professional that he hit it right here and it was swollen. I was this close to going to the doctor because mm. just that ball of, uh, you just know, swollen, man. swollen uh, right. gets hot. You know. Yeah. But uh, and then People Magazine was trying to get a hold of me because they wanted to do a thing. Oh, on they heard it. about it. Oh yeah, and all comics were saying, "Oh, you should get a lawyer. You should sue and you sue." And I said, "I don't want any part of Mont Lawrence's nonsense." Because remember when he comes out with a movie? Yeah, he shoots guns in the air sometimes. The bad boys. And he does something just to get, I guess, uh, whether he's publicity, uh, uh, publicity or. Cray, is he is he unstable or is he doing it on purpose to get publicity? Yeah. And uh, I'll tell you what, man. I remember when he came out with that movie, Dark Knight or Black Knight, whatever. Yeah, it's Black called. Knight. Black, it was Black called. Knight. Yeah, yeah. You go back and watch that movie, dude. That's that's fucked up. Pretty fucked up movie. Like, what? Like it's a stinker of a movie? Because oh, I saw that. In the I'm theater. just saying the racism is blatant. Oh, and it gotcha, does not gotcha, hold gotcha. up well. Like, right. It's well, real bad. so it's funny. It's not. Oh, <laughs> it's not. It's real bad. So I didn't want to be part of any Martin Lawrence publicity right, right. stunt. So oh, yeah. I just let it all go. Um, did you? Uh, so from what I, I've heard, uh, Rogan talk about it a lot. Apparently, he was like so funny, like before he got huge. Like, did you, did you find him to be like a? Great he was stand-up? never there. He was already. A, he had his sitcom. Yeah, Martin. He was. Uh, he was already he, Martin Lawrence at that. Yeah, time. he you wasn't coming around doing oh, okay. spots at the comedy store, and. Uh, so yeah, so uh, I think it's good to be punched in the face because uh, I, I agree. Yeah, you you know, it's like George Bush. He started that Iraq War, and we don't even know if he's ever even been punched in the face. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a good. Uh, yeah, you know, it's kind of sad. You know, right. you're gonna send all these right. people, uh, all this death and destruction and maiming, and we don't even know if you've ever taken a fucking face punch. Right, right. You, I uh, you have no idea. But you got to be careful. You you just hit your head the wrong way in True. a ball fight. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Look at Million Dollar Baby. You know, fell on that stool, just coma. I didn't see the look movie. Look at Bob Saget. He the hit his head. Are, right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, how hard do you you know? You got to hit your head hard. Yeah. I mean, slipping. I mean, yeah, but I mean, you, you can't play. hit it. Uh, it doesn't make sense how you could be killed by slipping in the shower yeah. or just hitting your head on anything. Right. Your head right. is not that fragile. No, they, it's, I mean, yeah, the, but your brain, uh, like, is it, like brain inside a, moves around. It's and a it, like, if it, And that, it could also dis, yeah, like, yeah. there's a little movement in there with the fluid and stuff, and it jerks around. Then why would, why is the gag, it. why do they have the gag order then? It's the mi- suspicious. It's the midgets. I, I'm not saying that scenario. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not saying this is anything against the scenario, but I'm just saying in general. I mean, yeah, I've known you hit your head. A lot of accidental deaths for sure. There's been. A, you remember uh, <laughs> in Con Air when Nicolas Cage hits the guy with the. He's oh, coming Grayson out knows. with a new movie. Dude, it looks, oh, where everyone's it looks really good. I, yeah. I do want to watch that. Yeah, yeah. I like him. A lot of people like hate him. Did you no, watch I, like, I grew up watching. I love, I love uh, Raising, Raising Arizona. Arizona. Yeah. yeah, I love Raising the Arizona. Baby. Love, the yeah. baby! The <laughs> baby! <laughs> I like Con Air. Uh, that Con, one was that's great. great that's movie, dude. Dude, it's great. dude uh, Gone in sixty seconds. I like, Ma- I like Gone in sixty seconds. I like Matchstick Man. Like I'm a I'm a Nicholas. I'm man. a big. I, yeah. love I just Nick I Cage. just hadn't. I'm not so much of a fan where I watch all of his shitty right. work. Either. Did you, you see? Know, I like, watched like, the shitty ones. Did yeah, you watch I Next? I did not. No. See it's that a one. movie where he can only see five minutes into the future. Oh, oh I did see that. That was it, trash. That's <laughs> <got it. laughs> it's so, wow. No, it's a terrible but movie. But he's funny. You know, he says, "You want to do this movie?" He says, "Yeah, why not? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Why not? Did you did you I, watch Massive Talent? Is that the one where the he, one saw where he, it. he plays himself? No, I haven't seen yeah. that. One it's yet. pretty good. Don't, don't talk movie. about. It. I want to watch yeah. it. Yeah, that's the one with uh, Pedro Pascal. Yep. Yes. Yep. Yeah. 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 Speaking of shitty movies, you remember Tremors? Tremors? Yeah. Kevin Bacon, Kevin Fred ba- Ward. Was Fred- that with the monsters? The, the monsters that the came ground. out of the yeah. ground? Yeah. 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 By the way, I rewatched it the other day. 
<laughs> Mason loves it. We had this whole thing it. about it, and I was like, you... you uh, Jamie I, Kennedy is in the fifth one. I need to watch it. No, you don't. Yeah, I'm going to watch it. You don't need to watch the fifth one. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need the to first, watch the, the first fifth three one. are the only ones. The first one, one. is the best. 100%. You got to watch uh, A Face in the Crowd. It's a black and white film. Okay. Uh, with Andy Griffith. I will. Oh, my God. What a movie. Crowd. It's a good movie? Oh. And it's not classic. Funny. What's it about? It's 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 about this guy that they discover and he becomes a radio talent and then he becomes a TV talent. Okay. And then he, uh, you know, it's, I'm not going to say any more. Oh, okay. Okay. You okay. gotta watch it. Yeah, Mason, do ketamine and watch this one. Yeah, yeah. I will. Well, no, because ketamine makes you it'll make me pick apart the movie. No, you said it brings you into the movie. Well, it depends. It's got to be a. I mean, oh, be, now your stories are changed. Ah, just the, the period. A period. It's an old. It's an old Tommy movie. Yeah, it's Elijah Kazan. I didn't know that. So, so. your brawling days over, Mason. Bra- oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's too. He's got dangerous. a broken back. Yeah, I broke my back when I used to, when it's I was too, racing motocross. It's too dangerous. Yeah, I don't like to fight. No, I'm undefeated. That's, I'm gonna leave it that way. I just know. <laughs> I got one fight in the eighth grade. I won, right. and that's it. Like, right. uh, best yeah, record I, you could have. I best only had ever. the one good one when I punched that dentist son. That dentist uh, oh. kid. The dentist's son. Dent- yeah. That must have been a good shot. Oh, hey, he fell. Good bled. thing he fell. He bled, <laughs> bled everywhere. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, on that note, uh, where can people find you, Brian? Where can uh, people find you online? They can find me on my YouTube channel. At, uh, I'm number 3,000. God, thanks, man. I'm 3,001, cool though. Yeah, not a, that's not as... I know, 3,002. Cool. Band, bandwagon <laughs> over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. And uh, oh. Instagram is... Uh, Brian Holtzman on Instagram, right? Yeah. And check out your new special. Uh, yeah, check, watch that special. Check out the special. You can go. Uh, you can watch it a number of ways. You can go on uh, the Comedy Store uh, uh, website and find it there. But I prefer you go to my website. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go yeah, check. Go, go, to go subscribe to his YouTube and uh, look up hashtag Cancel Holtzman. And it's fifty-two minutes, and it's uh, it's great. It's 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 kind of unorthodox, though, it's right? It's great. It's not like uh, it's good, man. Yeah, it it's, it's like because like I said, I've sent that to like so many watching, people, and like every time they're like, "That was incredible." In my in my because you're so like uh, stream of con- it seems so comfortable, like it's literally like watching you live. It doesn't seem like you're doing a special. It's great. Well, th- <laughs> thanks, yeah. thanks, thanks, yeah. thank you for that, Mason. Yeah, yeah I, uh, loved it. I've seen it twice. And uh, that's good to hear because, you know, uh, the, the, it's, uh, the, I can't think of anything more difficult than stand-up comedy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Some people yeah. make it look real easy, and I think uh, it's not as easy as some people who perform stand-up comedy make it look. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. That's very true. That's why we hate musicians. It must be yeah. great. Just to play, yeah, they get to do the same just thing. Just play over the and notes. Over, yeah. Just sing the song. Right. Right. If yeah. you, if, if they want to hear the hits. If you want to do it, but you don't really want to dance, by standing on the wall, get your back off off the wall. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You know that song. Yeah. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. Yeah, Mason doesn't. You know it. You know it, Mason. Get your back up off the wall. You're fighting it, man. It's a rap song. (laughs) (laughs) Get down on it. (laughs) You've heard. Come on. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking moron. How you gonna do it if you don't really want to dance by standing (laughs) on the wall? Get your back back up up off the the wall. wall. It's a catchy I, tune. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. I remember when they I wrote, wrote that it. one yeah, time yeah. And, and whatever year it was done and they played it live ever since. I love Michael Jackson. <laughs> I remember when I came out of the theater after watching Pulp Fiction. Yeah, how That's was cool. that? Great movie. First time. I was like, yeah, like what the-, the hell did I just see? I was confused <laughs> yeah. until I got it. Yeah, I guess yeah. it's like my comedy. Yeah. Yeah. It could confuse you if <laughs> you don't yeah. know what you're seeing. Definitely. Yeah. People Absolutely. don't understand. It's just satire. It's yeah. yeah. Some people all really have this point of view. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is a, a satire of how real people think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But if you don't get that, yeah, and you think I'm just delivering that, 
and that's what I right. believe and think. Yeah. yeah, I guess it would make you feel crying <laughs> in the lobby. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. I love when you that's talk about we... homeless people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like that too. I it's my so favorite. good. <laughs> They are. They're, they're multiplying. Yeah, <laughs> they are. <laughs> Too many of them, you know. Get, getting wet. Yeah, it's funny because, like, I mean, the whole experience of, like, coming to the mothership and stuff and, like, getting the job and doing that was also all really just surreal and cool. Congratulations. But, like, but, you, yeah. but, like, you were the first person that I didn't know that I knew has done more than I have to come up to me and, like, tell me, like, hey, I like what you're doing. And you're, like, give me, like, a genuine compliment, you know. Like, my so pleasure it's yeah been, it's definitely been awesome like no meeting you and me and thank you uh nick and you. who's at the club this weekend this in week, the big room in the big room i believe it is i'm not sure who it is i don't keep track of it because they never right um cause they just randomly come out but i believe like it might be donna donna no he's in december already because uh, i was looking to see what to take carrie to oh uh, okay uh then what is it you looked at it uh, might be Felipe Esparza. Felipe Esparza is in December. <laughs> well, those are the two that I looked at. Cause that's when know. she was coming. <laughs> but um, I don't know. It's been I'm uh, I'll, I don't Fred know. Fitzsimmons taking a special. I Greg, think we Greg's, put. Oh, oh okay. Fitzsimmons. Oh, by the way, real quick, real coming. quick. Not to like shit on on it, but <laughs> no, nope. I just nope. watched. Tr- nope. I just nope. watched uh, nope. Road Dog. The uh, Doug Stanhope movie? I haven't seen it. I've Boy, seen it. it made I saw me it. sad as shit. I saw, well, I, it's, I've just finished reading uh, Sam, Sam Talent's book. Yeah, Running uh, the Light. Running the Light. Yeah. Yeah. I, I haven't yeah. read it, but I've, I have it. I've I have not read it. Uh, like, <laughs> my friends say like the first book. three chapters are really cool, and then it's just kind of sad. Dude, mm. the Doug... Oh, it's, it's morose. Yeah. It's just morose. I'll tell you, dude, that movie made me sad. Like, I watched it, and like when I got done with it, I was like... I gotta watch something, I, and then I watched Strays, the dog movie oh, with yeah. Will Ferrell's Dude. the boys. I couldn't finish oh, it's that. Ron White this weekend. Oh hell yeah! Hell yeah! Oh, he's the best. He's so yeah, good. It's Ron this weekend. But uh, but yeah, um, boy, that Road Dog movie really brought me down. Wait, wait <laughs> what, did you watch Strays? Because you were already thinking of dogs. I watched Strays because I was sad. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, like it was like it's a really depressing movie. Mm. Not that he didn't do it. I mean, Doug Stanhope, he killed it. He was a great, it was, a, the performance was amazing, but the whole idea of the movie is so sad. Well, like, I mean, it's kind of like showing the reality for a lot yeah. of people. But like, anyways, point being, Greg Fitzsimmons is in it, and that's what made me think of it, but. Jesus. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Brian, thank you for coming. Where can they find you, Nick? Guys, thanks for watching the High Noon Podcast. Uh, check out Absurd Junk and definitely subscribe to Sunday Night Weirdos. We got a new show every Sunday on YouTube. Check it out. Awesome. Uh, Nicholas <laughs> underscore Spaglia, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, all that. Please like, share, and subscribe to the High Noon Podcast on YouTube. And uh, every second to last Saturday at Vulcan, Midnight Mass, get your tickets at VulcanATX.com. Next one's December 16th, actually. So we're doing that one early. Um, You want the last word? (laughs) Just uh, thanks for having me on the uh, High Noon Podcast with Mason Smith and uh, Nicholas. uh, And uh, (laughs) Nick. Thanks for coming. And and, uh, 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 George Collin. You guys are great. Thanks for having me on. Thank Watch for, the special. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Hashtag yeah, check out. Holtzman on YouTube. Check yeah. it out. Great special. Yeah. I wish I, I look forward to meeting you, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> Janice never stopped Janice. dancing. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to High Noon with that Wiley Coyote Mason Smith. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe on all platforms. We'll see you next week on the Dusty Trail for more hijinks and fun.